Hi guys, my name is Anand Kumar R. Uh, today I would like to be doing a review on my scooter Ola S12. Okay, so this is the one. As you can see, yeah, that's the one. Uh, so I bought it uh, three months ago. So I have driven around uh, 1,112 kilometers on the scooter. Okay, so around 1,112 kilometers on the scooter. And the thing is that I have to say some like so I try to keep it short. Okay, so I I did drove I, I did recently a 127 kilometer trip on the scooter. Okay, and I got uh, a range of 124. I drove in mix of normal and eco mode. Okay, the normal mode like as many know it gives you 135 kilometer as per the software but the reality is that every time i drive in normal mode like i have got maybe 100 110 max that's it okay that's it you don't get 135 in normal mode even that's that's very rare i get 110 and uh, the thing is that it mainly depends upon like how much you weigh that also matters i i weigh around 84 kg so the if the more higher your weight the uh, the range can reduce okay so that is an issue then the road conditions so there is the the range what they say uh, is like 135 it's on test conditions and those conditions are actually mentioned inside the application like you have to be 70 kg weight the ambient temperature all those things matters so that is one thing you have to take into consideration before you buy the scooter okay so then the service part the service part of the scooter is like it's very bad it's very bad you raise a complaint or request you don't get anything from them nothing the ola app is complete completely utter waste like you don't get any any support from the customer service other than that okay you can look up your charging you can lock and unlock your scooter that's it Customer support wise, it, it, it's not worth it. The app is just baseless and the software. Yeah, I have faced a lot of software issues in this scooter. A lot, a lot. Like my scooter shutting off in between. But the thing is that I reset my scooter, then it works normally. But even I had my scooter running, it was running and the display switched off. But the scooter had no issues, brakes, everything was working fine. But there was no display then i had to stop the scooter i had to restart reset then it worked for i had this issue for like i faced it around three four times so i have driven almost close to 1112 kilometers i faced this issue around three four times and uh, yeah that's that and uh, so that so that's the realistic range you get around 125 in a mix of echo and normal and if you do a like uh, I did a 124 kilometer trip okay so close to 100 and yeah same 124 that's it exactly in between when I came back I had my I had to stop uh, at a like a local shop for charging because I <laughs> carried my this thing like portable charger along with me to be very frank I live in Kerala, the charging stations, we don't have charging, fast charging stations for uh, electric scooters. Other than the Ola dedicated scooters and the Ether dedicated ones, we don't have any. The local, the, what the government provides is like, it's just for the cars. And whatever the uh, local charges, like from the government side, what they, it's very slow. It is better to charge in a, like a normal charging where, like, but it do take you, if you get, 8% of charge or 9% 10% charge you can go around like 12 13 kilometers okay that is good enough but if you are short so i actually went short of like around 8 10 kilometers so i had to do that so that is the thing so basically if you ask me am i happy with the scooter regardless of its problems if you say, give me like out of 10 how much you rate your scooter in terms of usability i would say that it's a it's a seven okay it's a seven the scooter is a seven it has its issues is it worth the money i paid like i paid around 1.65 lakhs for the scooter okay because they reduced they don't have the fame subsidy or anything 
so yeah bit on the expensive side i would say but still okay because i have in 3 months i have traveled around 1000 something kilometers so if you look by that if i stay for an year uh, i might do 4000 kilometers so as per the application i would save around 6000 rupees there is an app in the app there shows notification how much uh, like fuel you saved how much money you made out of that so maybe uh, i might save around maybe 70 80 liters of fuel and like around 6000 rupees i will save every year when i drive this scooter as per my like running condition so basically the more you use the scooter the more miles you, more distance you cover the more you save that's how it is if you are you if, if you run very low like your kilometers per every every year is low you save less basically the more you run the more you save that's how it works like basically if you have but i don't prefer this scooter for long runs like maybe maximum around 70 kilometers that's it 70 80 for a guy i'm i'm six feet tall so basically if you go for more than that like if you drive more than 70 80 kilometers uh, you, uh, the ride comfort is not as good as a motorbike okay that's the main issue like you, you can't there is no support for your back and everything then the suspensions are good actually but on a, the scooter i don't uh, prefer for more than 70 80 kilometers so the range actually does not matter for people like me who i'm like six feet tall so even if you give me a 200 kilometer electric scooter it is not worth that ride because you your ride comfort will be very very like it, it is not good for long trips basically yeah you can't compare it with a motorbike because it has got bigger tires better suspensions compared to the ola s1 pro so for short runs like around 50 60 kilometers with a range of 120 kilometer makes sense more range does not make any sense seriously so if they could provide this is a good it's a good scooter and they, if they could provide it a bit more lower price with the 130 range the s yes, it does make sense so i i do believe the ola s1 air would make sense that's why the s1 pro is like i don't think on a like long term basis for the, the actually the range does not have much effect because you are not going to do 130 or 150 kilometers as it's just on a scooter it's not worth it it's not worth our back is not worth that okay worth that effort that's why so yeah that's my shot uh i try to keep it short okay seven minutes so i think it is short that's my short review on ally s1 pro so should i recommend buying the s1 pro because there's no point because s1 pro i think they have stopped production should you buy an electric scooter i would ask like should you buy an electric scooter yes you should buy an electric scooter provided that it comes within a budget it comes close to 1 lakh 30 not more max maximum 1 lakh 30 with a range of 100 and actual real life range of 120 100 and 125 kilometers that's it and but, well, I don't know let us say between 100 and 100 to 120 kilometers max and with a good quality build at, uh, at a price of 1 lakh 20 max out 1 lakh 30 1 lakh 20 1 lakh 30 max out i think it's a good buy yeah for your if you are daily uh, use if you daily use your scooters i think it would it would save a lot of money uh, that's my short review on Ola S1 Pro and on an electric scooter practicality. So yeah, that's it. See you. Next time.